Good morning, everybody. How's it going? We're having a absolute gorgeous start to what's going to be a wonderful day, no doubt. But uh, I thought I'd go ahead and take you guys along with me today. I'm going to be putting together something called fermented plant juice. You can use a wide array of different types of plant material to make this type of fertilizer, but it's recommended that you stick to one particular plant in each batch. And today I'm going to be using none other than Comfrey. This is the Bocking 14 variety. You can see how large and lush this plant is. Just one plant is going to be used to make today's batch. So the Comfrey is an intentionally planted weed I got growing out here in my backyard food forest. But amongst the intentional plantings, there's also other weeds that pop up all around the garden. Plants like purslane are also a really good option for making FPJ. Also, you may have noticed I've got quite a bit of mugwort planted around the garden. Well, mugwort's another great plant to use for FPJ, high in iron, which is not only good for people, it's good for plants. The main point being is that the process I'm using today to create the fermented plant juice could be used with so many different types of plant materials. And it's not just weeds, even edible perennials that I have growing back here, plants like tree collards could make a really good batch of FPJ. So with the comfrey, I just manually go ahead and rip the plant apart into smaller pieces into the bucket. And even during this step, you can see all the moisture moisture that's coming out of the plant. It's important to note that the best time to actually perform this task is early in the morning just before sunrise. It's in those early morning hours that plants contain their highest concentrations of growth hormones and nutrients, which are especially concentrated on the lateral buds of each plant. So we want to take advantage of that knowledge and harvest at those times so we can create the most potent fertilizer at our disposal. So after you got your plant matter shredded up and the smaller pieces the better, all we're going to do is take some brown granulated sugar and massage that right into the plant matter. Typically, you're going to want to use about a third to half of the weight of the plant matter in brown sugar. You don't want to hold back, and the more moist the plant is, the more sugar you're going to end up using. But it's important to get all the matter completely coated, all married together. You can see the juice is already starting to pour out of this comfrey. So once you got everything thoroughly mixed together, the next step is to put another layer of sugar right there on the top and pound everything down nice and compact. We want any and all air to be extracted out of this concoction here. Next, I'm just going to put a breathable cover on this bucket. I'm using a five-gallon paint strainer as a cover. You can use hand towels, cheesecloth, whatever. This is just to make sure we keep insects out of this. We're going to let this sit and rest here now for about an hour. Then I'll be right back and we'll perform the last step. Okay, so the last thing you want to do here is to either weight down this mixture with a nice heavy stone, something that's going to get as much of that surface area as possible, or you could use my preferred method, which is to line the inside of the bucket with a plastic bag, and we're going to fill that with water. That's going to create a nice, even weight on the top of our mixture, helping to push out any remaining air to create that osmotic pressure that's going to extract those juices out of the plant matter, all the moisture, and then in just a couple days, I'll come back and I'll remove that water weight. I'll replace the breathable lid, then I'll give it another day or two to rest and ferment at which point we'll be ready to go ahead and strain out the contents and collect that high concentrated FPJ juice so valuable as both a root drench fertilizer and a foliar spray so if you want to follow along and see how this batch turns out and how I utilize it be sure to subscribe so you can stay in the loop and get the updates and if you found today's video to be helpful in any way I'd sure appreciate a like it's like throwing a tip in the tip jar for your barista it's very much appreciated and with that, I hope this video finds you and finds you well out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.